But only thing we can go forward is we have to do something that make us better. Because I yeah. never thought I would actually make it to right. Broadway in right. three years. Right. But in in that three years, mm. word could change completely. Q Q Q. Do you know this? <laughs> da, 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 da. So let's talk about how you took care of yourself during the run. What what was your daily routine like? Mm -hmm. I grew, grew up as a break dancer, mm. so my cardio was but pretty good. How, how old were you when you started? 14. 14? Yeah. My cardio game was really good, but the problem, I couldn't keep it up okay. with it. So I did everything I could. I usually don't do it. I don't I don't usually sweat as well, because I, you know, but prom, I was dying, like, every moment. Like, not every moment. There's one number. I, everything other than that is fine. There's one number yeah. calls Tonight Belongs to You. Uh-huh. Oh, oh. Oh, sorry. I just, yeah. yeah. You, you may continue. Yeah. yeah. Um, Tonight okay. Belongs to You. And then that number is really hard. There are a lot of jumps, like small mm. jumps. It's like, you know, you jump like this. Small oh, jumps. Small but jumps. all the time, but your butt is gonna <gasps> oh. get ripped. Um, so my butt was really, really pretty. Hard. Really pretty. Really Apple hard hips butt. after that. But like, you have to <laughs> take care of your body. I did a lot of stretch. Um, and then it didn't help me that much. So I took mm. pills, supplements. Also, that that couldn't make me still go through it and then I, uh what i did was like i started worked out yeah eat, eating healthy i have never thought i would eat healthy <laughs> never like i was like literally dying sinking ship you know slowly sinking and you feel it you felt it and i was like oh Oh my god. So oh my god. Eat? I have to do something. Otherwise, yeah. I'm going to get injured. Yeah. You know? So what did you eat? So I, I, I ate like salads and like, uh, like plant-based protein. Plant -based. Oh. For me, most effective meal before the show was just salad with some protein. Oh. Yeah. Just clean. Yeah. And then, or, and then some smoothie. Some, I don't know, some sugar. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, for uh, energy. Yeah. yeah, for energy. And oh, I bought massage gun. Yeah, that, that changed my life. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That really changed my daily game. Oh, you look like... I know. Like, I really like this image right like, now. Like, I can't... Like, um, uh, piso. Dangerous, like, like, you know, bombshell, right? A baby now, but like, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm sure people who are not here and who are dreaming to be on Broadway, they don't understand how the life is like in New oh. York City before all of that. Mm -hmm. like you, the real grind as an actor. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy to be let down and I want to know your process. My process. Yeah. I moved to Wisconsin, uh, the music program in <gasps> University of Wisconsin. My school in Korea. And then Wisconsin State University, there were sister schools. Oh, they I did see. they did exchange programs, so I was one of the exchange students, and then degree seeking students, so I can graduate okay. in that school. I was just studying classic vocal there. Mm. Yeah, because in Korea, people usually think you have to learn classic vocal. You, oh, so you wanted to do because, theater? Yeah. Did so, you need to do TOEFL? No, I did. I didn't have to. But the thing is, I have to pass this English program. Oh, there was an so English the, the basically I didn't do language program there, but basically mm -hmm. what I did was language program. During the time, I took a couple like major classes, okay. like a voice lessons and like chorus classes, yeah. choir, choir classes and stuff. Why did you decide to do that? Honestly, I was in Korea and then I couldn't even get to be in audition room because of my appearance, my physical appearance. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, um, I was uh, struggling. Meaning? height really? i wasn't tall enough to get <gasps> in the How into tall do you have to be? usually um 175 up or higher <gasps> or like 180 180 i was in audition and i thought i i did the best as the dancers in the room yeah but i didn't get picked up because they're looking for uh tall people not every show were like that but like i i, I was struggling just getting into the room 
also if you think about it, America is a mixture of all kinds of races, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but in Korea there's, there's only one race. All one race. One so I'm country. sure it's like very competitive. Yeah. So I, was, I mean, it is competitive here too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, but it's a different kind. I think appearance yeah, yes. matters appearance more. Appearance matters a lot in Korea. Right. And then I hit 28, and I I was about to graduate. My future w- wasn't looking bright. At Wait. So point. you were doing shows while you were in school? Yeah. Uh, I started theater when I was 20, and then I I was working here and there, here and there until 28. So I was like, oh, what should I do? What should I do? And then my professor gave me this card. What about study abroad? And then you can mm. try out Broadway. Wow. And then my dream wasn't actually Broadway until that point. Like my, because I thought what it's a... just too big of a dream. Wow. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's like, how how can you even think about Broadway? Even, yeah. even you cannot get it in the room in Korea. You know what right. I mean? But after that, I was like, okay, maybe... I think I wasn't scared because I had no going back. Your I parents th- understood. No, they didn't like it. Oh, shit. Yeah, they were like, you yeah. are literally almost 30. Right. You don't even know how to speak English. Right. Are you crazy? Right. I mean, like, that's... That like, is I was, crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. I, it, it, like, I thought I, would, I was crazy. But for me, if I didn't go, there was no musical for me, I thought. I cannot imagine myself without doing something I like or love. Yeah, and then my professor was like, you just go there, learn English, and then make this as a stepping stone and then go to New York. So then how did you make it happen after you graduated? Can I just restroom? (laughs) Yeah. Training, I was like, went right into auditions. I went to a couple auditions, open calls and stuff, and then I couldn't get seen because I was in union and I found out a lot of things you know through that thing equity equity thing like there's so many different wow there are a lot of of process that you have to go through and so many limitations right uh, when you don't have a green card right right but anyway I started working at a Korean restaurant I was cooking a lot of Samgyeopsal. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> to make my living. And then I decided, okay, maybe I should start from the bottom. Mm. So I went to uh, community theater audition. And I studied with Brooklyn Heights player. Uh, I did Anything Goes There. We, it it, we didn't get paid. Fun. It's just community theater. And then after that, I did In the Heights. It's also community theater, but they could hire union people. And that le- led me to another In the Heights, which was my first professional theater in New Jersey. So you auditioned get... for the prom when you were non-equity? No, oh, I was you... equity. Oh. Yeah, thankfully. I brought into K-pop musical audition and then it was off-Broadway. That's where I got my equity card because it was oh, off-Broadway. K-pop. When did you find your agent? After I booked the prom. After you booked the prom? Yeah. Did you reach out to them? or I how reached did it... out to them. I, I knew that they were to you know, because oh, right, I, I right, have right. like a almost a year or, or maybe longer right a worth of work they signed me they're a big uh commercial dance agency mm. so i was in isn't it romantic movie right. final dance yeah. sequence and yeah I, I worked a lot with them so that was great the prom hold audition august 2017 uh, i got in i didn't get the call back they held another audition in november and then they they called me back after three callbacks, I booked a job. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I had a good feeling, actually. After three callbacks, I was like, I feel like I'm going to get it. I have really good feeling. Like, I went in dance call first, sang third callback, uh, dance call. Yeah. And then another singing. another singing call. And then everyone was behind the table. Oh, Casey Nicola. Yeah. Like, Casey was like, do you have another like a belty song? A pop song, a belty? I didn't have pop, like strong pop repertoire in my book so i was like i have out there oh yeah yeah can you i love that song (laughs) there's the morning out there there. like ordinary man he's like he gave me this like thank you you know they're like i was like what is that is that a is that is that a good sign or something and then i finally got a phone call (gasps) from the stage management oh we want to offer you development lab and broadway my wife was there. She was like sleeping like this. And then I, I was like, oh, he- hello? Yeah, this is Jimin. And I was like, what? And she was like, 
And then, yeah, that's how it started. Oh my god, how crazy is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what is your goal now? I'm training a lot these days. Mm. I see some results, so I, right. I like that. I'm like I'm 34 now, right. but I'm still learning. And like, one thing I believe is talents uh, you cannot hide. It. So I wanna be, be talent as talented as possible. My goal is just to be better than before. After you make your dream come true, you feel like you have to make another set of goals to plan your future. Only thing better is your talent and then how you navigate your future, I think. Yeah. The thing is, we never know what's going to happen. Right. Right? Yeah. But only thing we can go forward is we have to do something that makes us better. We can be in Hollywood in five years because I yeah. never thought I would actually make it right. to Broadway in right. three years. Right. Yeah. The first year, I couldn't see months forward, you know? I live day by day. I just get by. But in, in that... Three years, mm. word could change completely. Oh. Wow, I think we talked for like so three much. Three hours, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know how you're gonna cut it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, QBs. QBs. Yay. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. And what's your YouTube channel? Broadway Dream. Broadway Dream. And my Instagram is Juman Hwang. Bye guys. Bye. Bye. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> okay, I'm hungry.